What's going on guys? As you guys know, I am True Tris. Today we have an awesome, awesome video for you guys on how to actually summon and spawn the Yeti in Minecraft Pocket Edition. This is really, really cool, and I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy it. But before we get to the video, make sure you guys go ahead and you guys can enter in my giveaway. I'm actually going to be giving away a lot of iTunes as well as Google Play cards. So shout out to Misty Place for actually sponsoring it. So I'm actually going to be giving away some iTunes as well as Google Play cards. And you can actually enter in the giveaway as many times as you guys like to. All you have to do is, of course, like this video, comment below in the comment section, that you want a iTunes or a Google Play card and make sure you guys are subscribed as well as keep my notifications on so you guys will get contacted every time I do upload and it can actually get noticed when you guys will actually get a giveaway so anyways make sure you guys do that huge shout out to Misty Plays for actually doing this I also have a Misty Plays set up so you guys can actually get free iTunes and free Google Play cards by actually letting uh, like signing up for the actual link down in the description too so that's pretty awesome for these awesome giveaway opportunities we're gonna be giving away a lot of iTunes and a lot of Google Play cards so you guys have a lot of chances of actually entering and winning so Anyways, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually summon the Yeti in Minecraft Pocket Edition. This thing is super cool, and I think a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy this Yeti. So, first of all, I'm using the, uh, it's like a white gorilla add-on, if you would say. And it's really, really simple. Personally, I think it's one of those mobs that it's worth adding into your Minecraft Pocket Edition game files. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I would actually prefer a Yeti over some of the other mobs in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I think it's really, really cool that we're able to actually have this guy. And I think a lot of you guys are going to find him to be quite useful. So, anyways, first things first, you guys might be familiar, obviously, with the Iron Golem. When you actually go ahead and you make the Iron Golem, you make the four iron uh, blocks of iron, as well as throwing a pumpkin on top of it. So, once you guys actually can do that, you can see... It, this is, of course, the uh, little formula for the Iron Golem. However, that's not the case for the Yeti. Sometimes, um, I've found it's, it's kind of like glitchy, so sometimes if you try to make the Iron Golem, it won't actually appear as the Yeti. So, I personally recommend you guys actually go into the commands or the cheats, and you do hash, and you do summon, and then you do... Uh, the iron golem right here so once you actually go ahead and you summon the iron golem on minecraft pocket edition here we'll do one just to show you guys so iron and then golem all one word and once you actually do so you can see that we actually summoned another yeti in minecraft pocket edition so there's a couple things you can actually do with the yeti which is really really cool and I think a lot of you guys are going to find him to be really awesome to mess around and play with. So, if you walk up close to him, his radius is actually really big too, which I really like compared to other mobs. You can actually see it says sit and ride. So, I can actually sit and ride the Yeti. How awesome is this? If you actually want to go ahead and you want to ride the Yeti and you actually want to move the Yeti around, all you have to do is make sure you guys have a snowball. It's just a simple snowball, very simple, very easy to get, especially if you guys find the Yeti out here in the like ice spike biomes or any winter biomes. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be able to find it quite easily. So all you have to do is, of course, you can switch between your sword and the snowball, and the Yeti will actually move and walk around with you so that's really really cool it's an awesome way to transport yourself especially in like a funny different way in minecraft pocket edition on like the snow biomes obviously if your friend is chilling in your world and you guys are in a snow biome and you guys want to transport i think it's the funniest way to actually do it by using a yeti so here's a look of me riding the yeti in third person from the back and you can see this thing is super super massive i think what the coolest thing is too is that he is actually moving his arms and legs very naturally it's exactly how you would expect to see um i don't know like a full grown gorilla if you're riding it uh, well, man, this makes me think of Harambe, man. This is this is super sad. They should change it to make a Harambe add-on. That would be pretty funny, actually. And then here's a look of me just riding the Yeti uh, from the front view. Of course, you can see it's kind of massive. Not not kind of very massive. Like his 
his head sticking up the entire screen i can't see anything with this yeti but regardless though it's super super cool personally i think this yeti is awesome and a very fun way to of course try like talk about transport and and really move yourself away in minecraft pocket edition he also does kind of swim, if that makes sense. You can see him just kind of like chilling. Uh, I guess it looks a little bit more realistic too. It's kind of funny when he's underwater, just knowing how massive this Yeti is, which is pretty funny. So that's pretty cool. The biggest thing I do want to actually show you guys, it's not an actual iron golem in the fact that it won't protect you it, in the way that if you actually in, are in like a sword fight or something like that even if I go and I go into slash we'll do game mode and we'll do survival here even when I'm in survival mode and I'm in like a fight with zombie pigmen here the Yeti is not going to actually defend me. So he's not technically an Iron Golem in the fact that he's going to be your defender, your personal defender. He's just its own mob. However, though, if you do get in a fight with it, of course, he yeah, starts swinging at it. He's not going to attack you, which, of course, is pretty nice and pretty useful, especially if you guys don't want to get in a fight with a big, gigantic gorilla or big, giant Yeti. I think it would be kind of dangerous if, of course, he would attack you, so that's kind of a positive of this yeti that you don't have to worry about him attacking you or attacking your friends if you guys are playing this in like a survival world regardless though i still think this is one of the coolest little like add-ons you can actually do there's like a more realistic mob i would like actually like to see this yeti be included into minecraft pocket edition if you guys think it'd be a cool idea to include this yeti into minecraft pocket edition in the full game for release files let me know I think it's awesome that he's kind of like a neutral mob, he won't attack you, and, and, but even though he will attack you, he's not going to defend you either, but regardless though, I think it's kind of cool, and a very awesome little concept that I think Mojang should really look into for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So anyways though, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, if you guys did, make sure you guys like the video, also too, let me know in the comment section what type of videos or what type of stream would you guys like to see tonight? I might do a special realms, like like bringing the realms back together, but we're gonna have to wait and see. So, anyways, my name is True Trees. Have an awesome day, and remember, stay true. Peace. Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already, and hit the little gear button to turn on notifications. Once you guys do that, you guys will be alerted every single time I upload. Have an awesome day. Stay true. Peace.